Hello and welcome to my guide over the streets of Tarkov. In this video, I'll be covering loot spawns and the ideal routes to make the most amount of rubles possible. I stream on Twitch Tuesday through Sunday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. Feel free to stop by and ask any Tarkov related questions. Without wasting any more time, enjoy the video. Streets is my favorite map to ever be released on Tarkov. It's a beautiful map with so many positives and very little negatives in my mind. The loot is top tier, the fights are amazing, the spawns are almost all solid. The map could definitely use some optimization, but that's for another day. The routes I covered in this video I used to make 116 million in 24 hours, and the swipe I used streets as my primary map to make the 1 billion rubles. So there's a lot of time spent on learning the map and the routes. I want to start by covering the map that I will use throughout the video. A link to this map will be in the description below. You will either spawn next to the loot spots and then have to go across the map to extract, or vice versa and spawn across the map, but then half of your extract right next to the loot spots. There's so much loot that every spawn has a chance to contest and secure a bag full of goodies. The best loot spots are on the west side of the map, so the route will be Post Office, into Check, then Lexos, followed by Concordia, and ending with Construction, or Reverse depending on where you spawn. It's more about knowing where the item spawns are, rather than memorizing the exact route. But before we jump into that, let's cover what keys you will want. In my opinion, the Concordia Security, Concordia 64 Apartment, Concordia Office, Finance Institution Small Office, Finance Institution Office, Stair Landing, and Skybridge keys are a must. The Iron Gate key is optional, but I'm not a big fan. And then Check and Abandoned Factory Marked key are overpriced and not worth it, nor needed. The Skybridge key can't be bought and is only a one of one use key, but there is a hard spawn on the map for it and you can get it every raid as long as nobody has snagged it first. Okay, time for the loot spawns. We're starting up at the post office on the northwest side of the map. This coffee store has food, hydration, ammo, and barter spawns. Throughout this guide, I will use my reticle and laser sight to point out a lot of the spawns. But in this store, you'll primarily want to look on top of the tables, under this food tray, on this counter, in the sinks, and above them. Barter items and ammo spawn in and on top of these boxes and on top of the chairs. This pig room can spawn ammo, food, and barter items on top of the desks, as well as rare items in front and behind the pigs, and a folder of intel spawn in the organizer as well as the filing cabinets. Food and med spawns on the ground, chairs, desk, as well as another folder of intel spawn in the organizer. A rare or medical item can spawn inside this box. Food and barter items on top of the desks and the cabinets, as well as on the ground next to the chairs. Medical items can spawn in between the dead body and the duffel bag, as well as on the right side of the dead body. Ammo, food, and barter items can spawn on the cabinets. You have the filing cabinet, plus the computer. Food and hydration spawns on top of the chairs, barter items and meds on top of the table and on the ground. You have the PC blocks in here, plus the filing cabinets, and more food, hydration, and barter item spawns in the cabinets, and on top of the desks. When I get to here, I like to peek up to the second floor and see if the door is closed or not. If it's open, then someone has already been through the area. But before going upstairs to loot, I like to come outside to this corner building and loot in here. There are medical, food, hydration, and barter item spawns, as well as rare item spawns in the box, in front of it, and in between the dead body and the duffel bag. These two filing cabinet drawers spawn open, so if you see them closed, it's a good sign someone's been through the area. There are more food, hydration, and barter item spawns in here on the desks, cabinets, and the ground, as well as another duffel bag to loot. Over here on the right, there are spawns on the bench, 
on this bed, in this red stroller to my right, on top of this box, next to this ambulance, in the back of the ambulance, you have the medical case, and this is all right next to the scab checkpoint extract. Now let's head back inside the post office to go up to the second floor to continue looting. There are food and hydration spawns inside the stroller, tech items on the ground here, You have the dead body, and then food, hydration, and ammo spawns on the ground and on top of the cabinets, as well as on the dresser and the bench. Harder items in this cabinet, as well as this cabinet on the ground. Ammo spawns inside this box, then you have the ammo box itself, and then this grenade box. Food and hydration on this stand tech spawns on this stand, as well as the toolbox to loot. Ammo spawns inside this box and on top of it. Food and medical spawns on the dresser. This door being closed is a sign that it hasn't been looted yet. Rare items in the oven and to the left of it. Food and hydration and ammo spawns on top of the counter and on the table. And then inside this room, you have three rare item spawns, one underneath the book, one inside this drawer, and one on top of the chair. Medical, food, hydration, and barter items spawn on top of that desk, on the ground, on the chair, on top of this desk, and inside this desk. Inside this next room, you have spawns on the ground, as well as a folder of intel spawn on this chair, more spawns on top of this box, and then the weapon crate itself. In the kitchen, you have ammo, food, hydration, and medical spawns. Barter items can spawn in the cabinets, and then you have the duffel bag, pack items and barter items on these shelves here, and then ammo spawns in and on top of these boxes. Upstairs, you have these two jackets, plus the toolbox, this dead body, the computer, Duffel bag, food and hydration and ammo spawns on top of the cabinets, barter items on top of that cabinet, as well as inside this suitcase, but you'll have to highlight over it because the item doesn't always render on top of it and sometimes you can't see it with the naked eye. Weapon attachments can spawn on top of that couch, inside this box, and on top of the crates. This is the Skybridge key that I'm now using. This room has five rare item spawns as well as a couple tech items and barter item spawns. One barter item spawn right there. You have the PC block, a rare item on top of the chair, next to the bed, two on top of the bed, one to the left of the bed, and one on top of this desk. Inside this apartment, you have a couple duffel bags, as well as a suitcase behind this door and then a couple barter item spawns, one on the ground here and one on top of the desk. Now time to head over to the check building, but whenever you come down here, be careful when you come outside because there can be people camping in the trees here and there and there, as well as on top of these buildings here. When I make this push up to the check building, my main concentration is on this window right here because that's usually where people will be sitting. When you first push up to this check building, open the door and back up a little bit because I've had players camp in this little hallway here, usually just right inside or up top on the second floor. Once you clear inside, look up top and see if that door is open. That's the stair landing key and it's an exit out of this building from the second floor. There's a rare item spawn on the ground here that you'll want to highlight over again because it might not render through. You have the dead body, you want to check left and then jump over this chair. There's item spawns on the ground as well as on the bench and inside this desk. I accidentally prone here, misclick. Hydration and ammo spawns at the end to the left. And then you want to check to the right, mainly focusing on the gap in the barricade at the end of the hallway. There's barter item spawns in the cabinet. Then you'll want to go inside this room where there's food, hydration, and barter items on the cabinets, the desks, the ground, as well as tech items on the cabinet and on top of the filing cabinet. 
and then another rare item spawn in the suitcase, another misclick, where you'll want to highlight over again because it can render underneath. These two drawers spawn open, so if they're closed, someone's been through here. There are food, hydration, and barter item spawns and ammo spawns on the ground, on the couch, and in front of it. More ammo spawns on the chairs, on top of the filing cabinet, and on the ground there. Tech and barter items spawn on top of this desk. Hydration there on that chair. Rare items inside the cabinet. You have the dead body. Another rare item spawn on the ground here. On this cabinet, tech spawns on top of the desk. The PC block. Food and hydration and ammo spawns on the chair, in the bed, and the ground to the left of the bed. Rare item spawn on top of the magazine and in the cabinet there. Once you get here, you'll want to bounce a nade off of the wall there because people like to camp this kitchen area underneath the table there and to the right of it specifically. I'll show what it looks like here. You want to check that window as well. The players will sit right here and just wait for people to come in. You have a bunch of food, hydration, ammo, and med spawns all along the cabinets here. Tech items on top of the tables. And inside the box here, you'll want to check inside that box because you can't actually see it without jumping up or highlighting over it. You want to scan back to this bathroom before making the push because I've had people camp back there. Barter items and ammo spawns on the chair there, on the bed, on the ground, in the cabinet. Medical spawns on the benches back here medical case itself, barter items in this cabinet, more medical spawns and food and hydration on the on the bench, as well as the duffel bag. When I push back here, I like to take one more scan through that gap, more barter item spawns on the ground, on the cabinet, on top of the windowsill, plus the bench, table, and the couch. Once you go inside the stairway, go down and look for the rare item spawn inside the box, plus food, hydration, and ammo spawns on the ground. Medical spawns and hydration on the windowsill and on the ground. More there and there. And then we go up to the third floor. On the right side here, you have food, hydration, and ammo spawns on the ground. This door will be unlocked, and there are two spawns on top of the sleeping bag and one rare item spawn inside the piss bucket. This is where you'd use the iron gate key, although I'm not the biggest fan just because it hasn't paid off all that much for me. You want to check inside the bucket, on top of the table, next to this piss bucket, the two dead bodies, and then there's a bucket right behind me that you want to look inside as well. Inside this one here, you want to check behind the bed because there's a rare item spawn. I skip over this next room and opt to go downstairs instead, but be careful when you drop down because there's people that like to camp, so I'll drop and face the doorway. There's a rare item spawn on top of the sleeping bag, harder items on top of the couch, on top of this desk here, inside this room on top of the bed, and the couch, and then in front of the couch. Rare item spawn on top of the bench, harder item on top of the chair, food, ammo, and hydration on the ground, tech items in this corner here. You want to highlight over it because they can blend in pretty well. More barter food and hydration spawns in here on the ground, on top of the bench, on top of the table, underneath this oat box, on top of the couch, and on the back corner of the table. Now we'll push back to exit the building. If you don't have the stairway landing key, you can kick that door open, but then you can also close it to make it look like it hasn't been breached or opened. But if you do have the stair landing key, you can prone underneath that barricade and then work back here. That's where the check room is, but again, I don't think it's worth it. It's a five mil key, and the time it takes to pay itself off is just not worth it. That's where you can jump across to go to the window there. If you just sprint across, it, you'll get it, but I ended up missing my sprint and dropped straight down. But people do like to camp there and wait. Now time to go back across the street to Lexos, which is where you can find a ton of medical spawns, food, hydration, barter, and a bunch of lead X's as well. Inside this container on the left, on top of the barrel, and on the bench, you have medical spawns, which can also spawn Ledexes quite frequently. On top of this couch, you have ammo and barter items. Inside this container on top of this desk, and on the couch, you have another Ledex spawn, as well as medical spawns. You have the tech crate here, the weapons case in the back of this truck, 
On top of the container, you have a ammo box, as well as a grenade launcher to my left there. Inside this container, you have the duffel bag, food, hydration, and ammo spawns on the couch. Toolbox, grenade box, or ammo box, I can't remember. Another weapon crate, two rather. On top here, you have another ammo box, weapon crate, duffel bag, and barter items spawn on the shelving. Then you have the jacket plus the filing cabinets inside this container as well. I usually skip over this building here, but for the sake of showing it, here we are. There's barter items on top of the containers here. You have the toolbox, more barter items in the corner here, as well as another toolbox. Barter items on the shelving to my right. We'll go upstairs inside the small room. We have a duffel bag that we'll hit. And then one more duffel bag, plus a barter and food hydration spawns on top of the table. You have the duffel bag here, plus food and hydration spawns on top of the table, the weapon box, and then you can prone underneath this garage and hit the medical spawns, or you can crouch and wiggle through this corner here. I don't really like to do the corner wiggle. I prefer just to prone underneath because I find it a little bit more consistent. And then you have the medical spawns here, which can all spawn Ledexes. On top of this container, that container, the left here, on top of that one, which you'll have to jump to get to. Over here in the corner. In between the two cases. The medical case, that crate, and a medical bag, and then on top of that container there. We'll prone and go back underneath, and then over to in front of the filing cabinet building. You have the tech crate here, two weapon crates. Inside here, you have another medical spawn, which can spawn a Ledex. You have the duffel bag. This is the Ledex spawn right here. The medical case, and then a lot of filing cabinets in this building. One's tipped over on the ground. Right there in this front office. And then upstairs. Get the two here, one behind the door. The ammo box. Two more filing cabinets. And then that is it for this building. Inside this container here, you have the weapon crate. On top of the container, you have another weapon crate. And then in the back of this Jeep, you have another weapon crate. The weapon crates aren't necessarily the best loot, but if you're looking for supplemental loot, they're not bad. Another Ledex spawn as well as medical spawns on top of the desk there. You have the weapon crate, the jacket, and then the ammo box. Around the corner here, you have the duffel bag in the back of the van, as well as a toolbox in the back of this van, toolbox on the ground, two duffel bags in here, plus a jacket, and then barter items to the left on, the, on top of the shelf. And on top of this box, on top of this table, inside this box, the tech crate, this toolbox in front of the Jeep, in front of the Harley, on top of the toolbox, inside this container, as well as a hidden cache behind the container inside the tire. I also forgot to show a few spawns inside the actual Lexus dealership up on the second floor where Ledex can spawn, a few more med spawns, a couple duffel bags, a couple weapon crates. So. Here they are. The medical spawns are on top of this table, on top of the box, on top of the couch. All three of those can spawn Ledexes. And then of course you have the weapon crates and the duffel bags. And then to exit, you can always jump outside of this window. Now time to head on over to Concordia.
Behind the counter, you have medical spawns, which can also spawn a Ledex. Then you have the duffel bag in this room to the left. And then three duffel bags inside this room. The first, the second, and the third. And then you'll use your weapon or a melee weapon to break the glass. I missed my swing. Don't do that. And then you can go upstairs to loot more barter items. By this point in the route, I'd be surprised if you have any open slots, but it's good to know where these spawns are just in case you find yourself in the area. Barter items can spawn on top of the sandbags. You have the toolboxes inside this room on top of the sandbags. And then in this room on top of the desk and the sandbags as well. There's a dead body in the bus stop there, but instead of going out in the open, I think it's smarter to just go downstairs from here so we can go hit the security office. But before we do that, dip into this side room. There's a tech item on the ground there and to the right. I found an SGC 10 there not too long ago. We have the toolbox, then we'll sprint on over to the security room. This room is amazing for a 45K key. You'll pay it off almost always on the first run. There's a lot of weapon attachments in here, like on top of the desk here, on top of the box, on the ground, in front of the safe, the safe itself, on the desk, underneath the desk, and then the PC blocks as well. Don't forget the toolbox. Then we'll sprint on over to a suitcase. These are great to hit. I found plenty of lions, bitcoins, and then just various barter items inside them. You have the two toolboxes inside this room, as well as a barter item on top of the container. And then we'll head upstairs to hit the 64 apartment. You can also tag this dead body here. There's a great loot pool on the dead bodies, so I wouldn't pass over them personally. This is the Concordia 64 apartment key. Really, really good key as well. Bunch of rare item spawns in here on the ground, on top of the couch, but you'll want to highlight over the spots because there can be an item that will render underneath as you see right here. I have the dot pop up and it's a Veritas pick. There's the spawn right there on the left side, the back middle and the right side, pretty much right where I had my reticle. Another rare item spawn on the left side of the bed and then on the nightstand as well. This is the 64 apartment office key. This key is not as great, but if you're going to be in this apartment anyways, might as well have it. You have the tech items on the ground, on top of the couch, on top of the boxes, the chair, and then the computer itself. Now time to head on over to the construction area. But before we do that, we'll hit this stash. And then the black crate inside this building here. As well as the toolbox on the other side. Now we're into the construction zone. There's a ton of toolboxes and barter item spawns in this area. It's great for scav loot if you're looking for a scav run. You have the grenade box on the back side, the toolbox here. Inside this container, you have the duffel bag, the weapon crate, and the two jackets. Inside this container, you have the duffel bag and the toolbox. Barter items on top of these boxes here and on top of these boxes. The two weapon crates. When you round this corner, a scab likes to sit on that duffel bag a lot, so be ready to have to shoot. The barter items on top of the containers there. The toolbox here and here. Barter items on top of this box and on the back corner. The dead body plus the toolbox. I usually don't go upstairs, but just to show, you have the weapon crate on this back right side, and then that mounted machine gun scabs love to hop on, so be careful if you see one taken off to run inside, he's likely going to hop on that machine gun. You have the stash on the ground underneath the pole, barter items on top of this box, the tech crate here, two more toolboxes, grenade box. Barter items on top of the boxes, and then the weapon crate itself. 
and then inside this container you have the duffel bag but make sure you line yourself up to avoid that window there because that's the check building window and people do sit in there and look towards construction especially if you have to shoot a bunch of scats and now time to extract we have the collapsed crane extract so here we are but you won't always have this extract so make sure throughout the raid you check and see which extracts you do have now I'd like to highlight a few more additional loot spots that you can hit whenever you're passing by them, like the dentist office. There are quite a few med spawns in here, as well as a couple filing cabinets. The filing cabinets are off here to the left, and then the meds will be in the back two rooms on the left side. You'll want to look on top of the coolers, on the cabinets, and on the desks, as well as on top of the stands. The next spot I'd like to cover is the file and cabinet offices in between check building and post office. This building is underrated for the filing cabinets in it. I would hit it mainly on my scav runs when the priority positions have already been hit, but there are eight filing cabinets in close proximity to each other in here. That safe will always be locked, so don't worry about trying to get a key for it or anything like that. There's also the dead body convoy in the middle of the street which is risky to loot on PMCs, but whenever you're running a scav, it can make for some really, really good loot. The dead bodies themselves have a very diverse loot pool, as well as the med spawns, plus the ammo boxes, the weapon boxes, the big green crates. You can't really go wrong looting this middle area as a scav. Next up, we have the finance district. I personally don't loot this building all that much, but just to show some of the spawns that I know, it's not bad to hit if you are in the area or you're looking for some extra loot. Plus there are a few rare item spawns as well as all the PC blocks and the toolboxes, a couple jackets. So it's not bad to hit overall. I just don't find myself in the area all that often. Behind the counter, there's rare item spawns in that little shelf. You do need the finance institution small office key as well as the finance institution office key. These keys are cheap and you'll make your money back really quickly. So I definitely think they're worth having, especially if you plan on hitting this building. You wanna check the cabinets as well as on top of the desks, you have the filing cabinets plus the safe in that room. Now we'll go upstairs. On this left side, there's the break room. You would think there'd be some food spawns in here. I don't really ever find much, but again, I haven't looted this building all that often. So take it with a grain of salt. In this room here, there's a few barter item spawns and then the duffel bag as well next to the tree that I just passed. On top of the desk on the far side and on the near side to me, there's the barter item spawns. This is the next locked room that has three rare item spawns in it. First two are on the ground right there and right there. And then the third one is on the ground right around there. Then you have the PC blocks next to the tables and the duffel bag. And then on top of the tables themselves, there's some hydration and food spawns. You can find sugars or uh, even moonshines from time to time. Thanks for watching my guide over the streets of Tarkov. If I missed any of your favorite loot spots, let me know down below in the comments, or feel free to stop by the live streams over on Twitch. Don't forget to sub if you want to stay up to date with any of my future guides I'll be releasing. But until then, peace out everyone.